greatness. I'm with Jeffrey Bonney today. He's got kind of an interesting story on how he became episode number 20. We'll dive into that a little bit. Where are we today, Jeff? You're a Dragon King's Daughters. Downtown New Albany. Great, kind of a Mexican sushi place. I went with the uh, kimchi beef. Pretty good. Had a little kick to it. What'd you go with? Had a sushi roll, the uh, frosted sundae. It's mango, salmon, avocado, delicious. Pretty good stuff, huh? Oh, it's good. Very good. Now, how long have you had it, this affinity for sushi? Do you consider yourself a big sushi eater? Uh, I never was until I moved up to the area. A friend of mine took me out to a couple of nice, really nice places. Uh, I found this later on, but uh, I'd say about six years. I got you. So how often do you eat sushi during the course of a week or a month? Uh, usually about once a month. This would be, this would be the second time. Okay. Do you primarily, when you go to different places, get the same type, or do you like mix it up? Uh, I don't really know. had some recent changes in your dining habits, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. Kind of walk us through what, what you were thinking and what, what you're trying to do right now. Well, uh, the main thing was, you know, at the beginning of the year, I tried to do what everybody tries to do, and that's just try to get the health there a couple of So I cut back on the drink, that was the first thing I was drinking way too much. Uh, kind of like an unhealthy level, but, you know, at least a drink a night, one or two. Yeah. And I don't fall asleep. As far as the food goes, you know, I never ate breakfast. I just kind of ate two really big meals a day. So I just try to survive off that, split it down to small meals. So that's really it. Um, Do you feel like you're eating healthier right now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You started working out a little bit too, did you? Every day. How's that working out for you? Yeah, uh, it's working good. I dropped about 25 pounds. My goal. Do you enjoy doing it? You know what? A lot of people say, you know, they get addicted to it. Yeah. It's a true statement. I know? agree. I it agree. really is. If I miss a day, which I missed yesterday because I went golfing, yeah. I felt so golf for myself. So. Yeah. That's that's kind of, and I don't I don't work out as hard as you do, but I do get some kind of exercise every day. And if you miss a day, you do it. It works on your brain. Yeah. You're like, God, I should. I, I really need to make sure I do this tomorrow because you feel like. I feel like you're cheating yourself. Yeah, that's where I'm going after this. So. I got you. Keeping with the eating motif, you also have a sandwich at work named after you. Yes, I do. Uh, well, why, tell, tell us how that originated. It, it worked well, out. One of these days, I was just I was up at the EDR, our little cafeteria, uh, cafeteria area, and uh, wanted something different. So I was like, no, I can just get grilled ham and cheese. And ever since then, yours truly over there, uh, decided it's a Mount the Jeff Bonning special. I mean, yeah. It's grilled ham and cheese. How many times have you gotten that before then? Uh, I think one other time. How so many times have you had that since? I have not. Ever since you named it after me, I don't eat it. Yeah. That's kind of cool though. Yeah. You, got you got a sandwich named after you, and you really don't eat it very much. No, no, no. I'll check more. I try to bring my lunch to work a lot just because, again, kind of smaller meals. Yeah. Although you could do worse than a ham and cheese. Absolutely. And with some of the food you've seen, I'm sure you can bring. Yeah, definitely. You are kind of, in our in our department at work, you are kind of the go-to karaoke guy. Oh, absolutely. What, who are, or what are your karaoke inspirations? Oh, uh, Zeppelin. Uh, by far. It's, I love to do Zeppelin. Uh, and a little bit of Sublime, which you all don't hear me do too often. No. That was the first thing I ever did was uh, San Rio, Sublime for karaoke. Uh, on a visit down here from New York. Do you have, what, what's your, you know, Ze Zeppelin is kind of your inspiration. What is your go-to karaoke song? Like, the gauntlet has been challenged. Show us what you've got, because you've been in contests and whatnot. Yes, yeah, yeah, I have. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm going to strut my stuff and to win a contest, there's two, there's two songs I'll do. Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. It's a quick song, got a good range of vocals. The uh, second one, if I'm just trying to shut them up, is uh, The Darkness, I believe in a thing called Love. Okay. Got a high F in there. It's it's insane. <laughs> You're kind of a you in the office. You and I kind of have the, the most similar musical tastes and likes and whatnot. Uh, but you play some instruments and whatnot too, right? Yeah, absolutely. What what do you, what do you play? Uh, I play guitar. Okay. Uh, I dabble on drums. And, uh, actually, when I was in college, I could play piano. Yeah, when was the last time you played piano? Uh, probably a few months. I don't own one, so yeah. if I ever see one like at a friend's house or something, I usually walk over and have a few keys. Yeah. How many guitar? You've got multiple guitars, though. Right? Uh, I have seven. What, do you, what all do you have? Uh, I have a wide range. Mostly acoustics in my thing. I got 
12 string, 6 string, uh, I have uh, electric, electric acoustic, uh, anywhere from Gibson to uh, brands like uh, uh, Yamaha, uh, Tamagotchi. What kind of Gibson do you have? Uh, the Gibson, it's a. Uh, I think the name is it's an SG. It's an SG special. I uh, got that for a gift down here. It's a fantastic sure. electric guitar. The only time we ever get you to go across the river is when we do a karaoke thing. We've referenced your love of karaoke earlier. But now we're going to talk about your aversion to going across the river in the world. Okay, I understand. I understand. You don't do it very often. Why? Uh, main reason is uh, I'm from a small town. My town up in New York is smaller than this. So getting on the highways and dealing with all those crazy people in the traffic, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. So I, uh, I avoided it if at all possible. Plus. Uh, I don't go out a whole lot. If I do go to a bar, especially on that side of the river, I don't like to drive. You gotta figure out a way to get I gotta find a way to get back. So that's, that's a big part of right there. I can't imagine these tolls are doing much for you right now either, are they? No, I hit, I hit them once. Uh, once by accident. Yeah, I did the same turn. I did the same thing. But uh, most of the time, if I ever did go over, I always took the Sherman in. So it hasn't really affected me too much. Yeah, that's right. You, you being from New Albany, it's not as bad. Uh, so, yeah. Gotcha. All right, are you ready for the uh, Tommy Gun round? Oh, my favorite part. Let's quick, do it. quick questions, quick. Well, you know, before we do, let's ask this though. Your episode number twenty, right from the get go, when we started this series, you've been very supportive. But you, while other people were jockeying for early shows, you're like, you know what? I want number twenty. Absolutely. You mark me down for number twenty, and we've had you marked for number twenty from the minute we started. Why? We're, I, I wanted a special episode, episode 20, and you know, I, I knew from the get-go that he was going to get there eventually, so I just wanted a, a special, a special, a special episode. Well, we certainly appreciate your support of the show. Uh, not everybody has been as supportive as Jeff, but now let's do the time again. Read on. What's your favorite crayon color? Uh, the green, forest green. Forest green. Oh. Give it a choice. You know, Stanley Cup Finals, Game 7. Chicago at Pittsburgh, or seeing Robert Plant at the Palace in Louisville. Who would you say? Oh, Robert Plant. Absolutely. Absolutely. Give us a brief synopsis of your most recent appliance purchase. Oh, uh, I had to purchase a new dryer. Oh, no, it was washers. How long washers. ago was that? Maybe two months ago. Went well? Well, uh, yeah, it went fairly well. Uh, Home Depot always got some good deals, so. Okay. What's your favorite vacation locale? Wherever my family is, I don't see them all, so Florida was the last one. What was your first major concert and where? Uh, first major concert, Kings of Leon, uh, in Albany, New York. What's the last movie you saw in a theater? Jeez, uh, I, I almost want to say it's Finding Dory. What's your favorite geometric shape? Favorite pro wrestler of all time? Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin. There you have it, folks. Jeffrey Body in episode 20. Mike, thank you for having us here. Where are we again? Dragon King's Daughter. Mike, thank the folks at Dragon King's Daughter. Great lunch today. Great locale. We were mentioning earlier during lunch they have a great music list they play here. The music's been outstanding. You probably overheard some of it behind us during the show here. But, uh, We'll catch you next time. I don't know who we're going to have for episode 21, but we don't know who it is, where it'll be, but we'll see you then. Peace. See you next time.